The Buster Seed Tip Out Propagation Tray a few weeks in, has it worked? Is it better than using a standard module tray? And most importantly, is it worth it? I'm gonna talk about all of that today. Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. Last month I reviewed this thing, the Buster Seed Tip Out Propagation Tray, because I'd seen one online and I was interested to find out how well it actually works. Well, if you haven't already seen the first part of the review, I'll link it up above so that you can go and check it out. Since then, I've been trialing it with some of my own seeds. I've been growing all of my tomato plants this year in this thing, and now it's time to pot them up and we'll find out whether the main selling point of the Buster Seed tray actually works. The idea that you can lift out individual rows to check on the progress of the plugs and that when it's time to pot them on, rather than having to squeeze the modules from the bottom to try and prise up each individual plug, all you have to do is tip it out super easy and then you can just pot up your plant. So in the first review video, I hadn't actually grown anything in one of these Buster Seed trays before, so I was only able to give you my first impressions about things like construction and the concept behind the design itself. Well, now that I've had this for a few weeks and I've been growing things in it, I can let you know whether it actually lives up to expectation or not. And probably the best place to start is durability and construction. When I first saw this, I was really impressed at how thick and heavy the plastic was, and I thought it would make for a nice sturdy module tray. Well, I can confirm that that is definitely the case. I've been really impressed with it. This is so much heavier than a standard black plastic module tray that is really, really flimsy. Probably the best way to demonstrate that is that I can lift it up with one hand, and it stays totally rigid. If I had tried to do that with just a black plastic module tray, it would be flopping all over the place, it would be spilling soil, it would be breaking apart. This thing doesn't do that. I'm really impressed, and I think that's a really good sign for the future. I think it shows that this thing is gonna stand the test of time, and that rather than getting a couple of uses out of it, and then it just becoming more plastic waste that goes to landfill, this is gonna last for a good few years. When bringing on seedlings, one of the most important things to stay on top of is the watering, because the little baby plants are just so delicate that they can't afford to dry out. My preference is to water seedlings from below so that they don't get damaged themselves and so that the compost doesn't get blown around all over the place with the water. That then means that I'm plunging either pots or trays into watertight containers, into the sink, or even the bath sometimes, which can be a bit of a pain and it can be kind of messy. Well, this thing definitely solves all of those problems in one go because it's got its own integrated solid watertight tray. It even has a little channel down the side that you can tip in water. I find it really easy to stay on top of the watering for these because all I've had to do is pour in a little bit of water at the side and let it do its thing. The other thing that I noticed, which I'm really pleased with, is that the water distribution through all of the cells seems really even. So certainly for all of that watering, it works really nicely. Okay, so onto the first of the main selling points of this thing, and it's the concept of being able to lift out individual rows whenever you want so that you can check a cross section of each plug to see how it's getting on. I can't honestly say that that's functionality that I've missed in my seed sowing life, but at the same time, it is actually surprisingly handy. I've had at least one time where I thought I was on top of the watering with these, and when I've lifted them up and looked at the compost, I've realized that actually they were just heading towards being a little bit dry, so that spurred me on to get them watered. And you can see just how easily they lift out at any point, you can lift out a row and you can see a really nice, neat cross section of each plug. You can see how the compost's getting on. Is it too wet? Is it too dry? And you can see the root development. You can certainly see the root development in these because I've left them probably a little bit too long. They've grown really quite large, but it gives you a really clear idea of just how easily you can see the roots. And then that gives you an idea of when it's time to pop them on. And that takes us on to the next bit, which is how easily you can tip these out to pot them on. Now, it's time for the ultimate test, and I have not tried this yet. How easy is it to get the seedlings and their root ball 
out of these rows of cells because this is exactly what Buster Seed sells itself on. The idea that all you have to do is tip them out as opposed to trying to squeeze them out of a module tray. When you try and squeeze them out, generally it damages the module tray, which means you're either going to break it and you have to throw it away, or you at the very least weaken it for future use, and you can damage the plant itself. So I'm going to have to do this in one take and see whether it works. How easy is it actually to tip these out? Let's have a go. Okay, here goes. Brilliant, it does work. Now, it has taken me about a minute of just giving them a very little bit of gentle help to come out of the cells. The roots slightly were sticking to the plastic, which meant that they weren't just going to totally slide out. On the plus side though, it hasn't damaged the modules or the roots. If I lift one of these up, you can see that's worked really quite well. I've got a nice plug that I can easily just set into a pot. It hasn't damaged the roots. It's all holding together really nicely. And certainly it does actually minimize the damage to the plants and it's really easy to do. So I'm happy with that. And it does live up to the expectation. This works exactly the way I would expect it to. And now that I have a free row, I can fill it with more compost and I can start sowing more seeds. In conclusion, when I first got my hands on this thing, I was really impressed with it. And now that I've trialed it for a few weeks, it did not disappoint. I am still really impressed with it. Everything just seems to work nicely with it. And if anything, I would say that it solves some of the pet peeves that I have with black plastic module trays. It's so much sturdier. It's easy to stay on top of the watering. And importantly, it minimizes the mess when you're watering. It's really handy being able to lift out the rows to see how things are getting on. The plug sizes are nice and big, so the plants develop really nicely. You can certainly see that here because I've left these to grow for way too long. And then when it's time to tip them out, you get a really nice, neat plug that is perfect for potting on and it doesn't damage the seedling or the root structure in the process. So I suppose the big final question is, would I recommend you guys getting one of these? And I would have to say yes. Now, it is more expensive than buying a standard module tray, but what you're getting is something that's got really good green credentials because it's all recyclable and it's going to last you for so much longer, as well as just working really nicely. I kind of can't fault it. Definitely worth getting hold of. So I hope you find this useful. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm really interested to get your thoughts on this thing. Maybe you have one already. Let me know. And as ever, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell icon because then that way you'll be notified when I post my next video. And until next time, I'm taking my plants. I'm going to go and pot them up and I'll see you later.